In this video, I'm going to show you how to set the APRS up on your Yaesu FTM 400. So let's get started right after this. Hello and thanks for taking the time to watch this video. Now, if this is your first time here, please subscribe and don't forget to click on the bell. That way you'll be notified each time I upload a video. Now, the first thing you want to do when setting up the APRS is press the display setup button for about a second. That brings you into the setup menu. Now, there's two ways of getting to the APRS section down on the left. You can either use the A band knob to turn or just go down and press it. The APRS section has 32 menu items. However, most of them you're not going to need to adjust. The factory settings work just fine. Okay, the first one we're going to go to is the APRS filter. Now in this one, the reason I go to it is for the range limit. The factory setting is all zeros and I like to use about 20 to 25 miles because it keeps me from getting beacons sent from all over the place. So just go ahead and enter the number you want. When you're done, press enter and it takes you back out. Then you get back to the main menu, just press back. The next one, and most important one, is APRS modem. It's either on or off. Just push in the band A knob to make your selection. We'll turn it on for now. Then the next one you're going to go to is number six, APRS mute. I highly recommend turning this on and leaving it on. Otherwise, you're going to have to listen to the chirps and clicks that these modems make every time it transmits. The next one we're going to go to is number 7, APRS pop-up. This one lets you choose how long you want to see the beacon, a message, or your own packet. For the My Packet, I leave it off. I don't need to read my own. And you can choose 10 seconds, permanently on, off, or 3 seconds. For beacons, just 3 seconds. Messages, leave a little longer in case I want to read them. Number nine is the APRS ringer. On this one, I go to receive beacon and I turn that off. Otherwise it beeps every time a beacon comes in. Number 14 is the beacon status text. Now you, there's five different messages you can input in here. You can put whatever you want. Select which one you want, one through five. Press on it to get in there. Now on this, when you transmit your beacon, depending on if you have it on non-frequency or frequency squelch and shift, it'll send out the frequency that your A band is set to, in case you want someone to try and find you and have a QSO. For now I'm just going to use none. Type in your message. Press enter. You're all set. Now every time my beacon transmits, my little message of hello will be in there. Item 15 is beacon transmit. Turn the auto to on. An interval is how often you're going to transmit your beacon. 30 seconds and one minute is way too much. Minimum I would go is two minutes. Most people I know of, depending on the length of the trip they're taking, they'll do three to five minutes. Set mine for three minutes. And it'll go all the way up to 60 minutes. The next item is number 23, where we put in our call sign. Now once you get the call sign in, you're going to shift over to the right of that hyphen. And there's a list, which I'll show you in the corner here, 
of the different things you can use. Since we're doing mobile, that will be 09. And then press enter. Number 28 lets us choose the symbol we want to show up on the APRS.FI website. You can set up different ones. For me, I like to use slash small u since I used to drive semis. Once you pick it, hit the band A button again and back back out. Number 29 is your position comment. Most of the people I see, they'll either use en route, in service, or committed. There's another one on here for emergency, but I'd be careful using that one because when you try to use it, it's going to let you know about it. And you have that. My understanding is if you do press that OK, it's going to send out a beacon to let everyone know. So only use that if you're in a real emergency. But we'll stick with in route for now. Okay, once you have everything in this menu set up, you know, back all the way out. And the frequency for this area is 144.390. The default setting is that APRS will only work in band B. There's a couple of icons on the screen that you're going to need to make sure are on so that you know that the APRS is working. One is the little satellite and this little circle in a circle. For some more functionality, just press the F function button real quick. It brings up this little menu where you can just randomly transmit your beacon whenever you want. You got the tone back saying that it went through. You can turn the beacon on or off with the beacon where it says beacon. You notice the little circle disappeared. And then if you want to send a message to someone, which I don't have any right now. Now if a message pops up and you didn't see who it was and you want to look at it again, you just go down here and click S list. And then you can scroll through to find the one that you missed. Look at the KD6 VDJ. He's using a TMD 710 and he's on 146.520 at the moment. And when you're in here you can Turn the knob up or down, it'll tell you if he's moving, how fast, what his course is, his altitude, and then there's the in route thing that we chose. Gives you his latitude and longitude, and the date and time that he was last beaconed. Shows you how far away he is and what direction. Now I'll show you what all this looks like on the computer at APRS.FI. Okay, I'm going to show you the basics real quick of APRS.FI. It's a real simple website to use. Just enter the call sign that you're looking for. Hit search. And it'll bring it up. I'm just showing you where I've driven so far this morning. And it gives you a little uh, window here that shows the date and the time that they were last on, their degree, their altitude, and this is the message I had put in. Gives you the call sign and the, the little thing. You click on the call sign, it recenters it, but then it gives you more information over here to the right. And that's about it. And you can zoom in or out depending on how close you want to get. Where I live here in Southern California, I'll show you how many beacons there actually are in my area. This 
zoom this out so we can get over to the US a lot quicker. And then you can see them all starting to populate. Well, I greatly appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. If you haven't done so, please subscribe. And again, don't forget to click on the bell, that way you'll be notified next time I upload a video. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to post them below. And again, thanks for watching.